Hi, everyone. It's Thursday, April 15th. It's great to be with you today. Pray you had a, a great day yesterday. Um, as you, uh, as Jesus touched you in that desert and and gave you life and purpose and meaning uh, in this up in and out relationship that that, that we live in. Um, today, I want to read uh, this section from First John. We looked at it just a little bit last Sunday, uh, but but to me, it's such a wonderful witness. John is an old man. Uh, he's the last disciple alive. He's the only one that has not died from with from violent uh, means, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Proclaiming that Jesus Christ had risen from the dead. Uh, and yet, when, when you think about it, he's been through a lot uh, in his life. Uh, many that uh, have come to faith in Jesus uh, through his voice have been killed even. Um, uh, he's lived uh, uh, even now when he's when he uh, shortly hereafter will get put on the island of Patmos. He'll write the book of Revelation there, but in this rocky, crack, craggy island, right? Uh, so a very hard life. Um, and, and a life that's always been focused uh, living as a follower of Jesus in, in the up, in and out relationship uh, that he knows through the resurrected one that he experienced when Jesus walked this earth and, and, and then saw him alive and know that and, and has lived in that reality that it's all true. Uh, and so I think this is a witness uh, to us that um, in our desert places, yeah, yeah, the way of Jesus will restore us and renew us and, and bring us in, into a garden again, huh? Uh, the water of life and, 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 and what it means to live in that. So, so let, let me read this to you. Uh, starts like this, uh, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked at and our hands have touched, this we proclaim concerning the word of life. So he starts off with the reality that Jesus Christ is real. Huh? Uh, that which we have heard from the beginning, right? that was from the beginning, which Jesus is true God. It, it, this really points back to eternity, uh, and, and uh, very similar to the first chapter in the Gospel of John, right? In the beginning was the Word, which was Jesus, and the Word which was God, and the Word was God, and so forth. Uh, but what John is witnessing to, that they saw him, and they heard him, and they touched him, I, I really have a hard time believing that this is not, uh, that John doesn't have in his mind uh, that, that Easter evening where Jesus appeared, and he says, touch me and see, right? Uh, and, and he says, this one is the word of life. And, and so he goes on, the life appeared, we have seen it and testified to it, and we proclaim to you the eternal life, which is uh, with the Father and has appeared to us. So this is what we proclaim. Notice he says the eternal life, that's this, um, it's not simply by us life, it's, it's life the way it was meant to be. It's life restored in the reality of Jesus. It's, it's this Zoe life that I talk about sometimes. Uh, so, so John is an old man. Did it work? Huh? Was it true? That, that in, in his desert that he was in on Easter evening and Jesus came uh, and, and, and touched him again and then and said, this is what it looks like to, to, this is what life looks like to live in a relationship with me and through me with one another, your brothers and sisters, and on mission, right, with the out. Is this what it looks like? And, 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 and did it work for John? Did it give him meaning and purpose so that at the end of his life, even though he suffered greatly and those who saw Jesus had horrible deaths and very difficult lives, was it all worth it? Was it true? See, that's, I, I think that's the witness. And John is saying, yeah, I'm still doing it. I'll never quit because this is where it's at. See? Um, and he says, we proclaim to you what we have seen and heard. And, and this is what's interesting here. Uh, um, uh, I, I want you to hear this. So that, so that you also may have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And then he says, we write this to make our joy complete. So this word, I think I mentioned this Sunday, but, but this word fellowship is koinonia. Um, and really, it's, it's about this relationship. Uh, what he's saying here is, hey, we have life with this Jesus. And, and almost in, a, in, a, in an amazing way, he's saying, we experienced this life when Jesus was here for three years. And it's just continued. Right? This life that he modeled, that we live with him, relationship with the Father, relationship uh, with the Father through, through Jesus, right? It's that he modeled with us, this up relationship um, that we were created for. That, that the only way a human being can be happy and whole is, is, is to be connected with God in this way. And Jesus connects us with God, right? And, and through him, we're a family. And just like Jesus did life with us, we're a family together. And it's, it, this has been awesome. Uh, and at the same time, we're, 
we continue to be on mission with Jesus. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And, and, and he's saying, this, this is why we proclaim all these things that are true about Jesus, right? Uh, and, and, the, and, and we attest to you that, that this way of life, this is meaning and purpose and, and life um, in, in the waters of life, huh? As far from the desert you can get. That, that, that's what he's saying here. And, and so this koinonia, this fellowship, this family, this uh, connectedness, right? That's what he's saying. We, we have this with God through Jesus. Uh, and we, we've shared this with you because we want to have this with you. It's exciting. Um, so you can, so we can be family together on mission. And, and, and he says, and, and I love this. We write this to make our joy complete. The joy in, um, in having one other one join us in this life that we were made for. So John is an old man. He's not backing up one step. In fact, he's saying, yeah, it's, it's all true. Uh, this is what life was meant to be. Uh, and we're, I'm going to continue uh, to hold this up, right, to, to, to offer this to people to live my life in this way. Uh, and, 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 I'm, and I pray, right, that, that you'll make my joy complete by joining me. Uh, will you pray with me? Dearest Jesus, we thank you for the witness of the, the disciple John, uh, old man, the last one alive. And yet he witnesses to us not only of simply of the truth, um, but the reality that he's not taking back, he's not stepping back one step. Uh, that, that yes, this is what fills us up. Uh, this is what life is meant to be. Uh, and, and Lord, you meet us in the desert through the words of John and the spirit touching our hearts through these words uh, to renew us, uh, to give your water of life to our parched souls and to empower us once again uh, to, to, to live it brand new in you. We praise your name for your grace um, that, that, that you would come to us in, in our desert and give us life anew in you. Uh, pray in your name. Amen. All right, we'll, um, we'll see you Sunday, God willing, either in person or online. And may God be with you. Bye-bye.